What's up, y'all? Hope you guys are doing well. So today we're going to break down a Bitcoin play that allowed us to get a full 50% in account growth as we captured 5% of the movements using 10x leverage. So this is how we were able to do that. So some background info. Elon Musk recently bought $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin earlier in the week. This shot it up to around... 48k around so there's a new all-time high so we'll set a resistance point around that area however it struggled to break 48k it had lower highs and then eventually sold off to around the 44k level so it got down to this 44k level and then it hovered to the 45.5k level and it is struggling to break that so here's how we play that. So we set a notification at the 48k level as it breaks an all-time high. We set another one around the 45.5 level as is, it is struggling to break that. So once it breaks that level, there's a high chance it'll probably do another breakout and try to reach for another all-time high as the overall trend in the past week was overall bullish. Then we set another one around 44k level for the supports and then we'll look around to see if there's any other supports we could find maybe around 47k as it squeezed to this point and then after it got here it just sold off here so we set notifications at all of these key levels and then we just wait if it breaks down below could go to the downside of around the 42k level so if it breaks down below we could short it the buyback long whenever it recovers if it breaks 45.5k we go long to play the breakout and whatever happens in between we just wait and relax so the best play is often no play so we wait see what happens and then eventually it does break the 45.5k level and then you can see here there's also an inverse head and shoulders pattern which is very bullish we got the left shoulder here got the lower head right here we got the right shoulder right here then we got the breakouts at that key level here to the upside so we wait until it retests key levels such as 47k and 48k at the all-time high however you can also set Heishkin candle alerts at red and green. So if you guys want the script, I can give you guys that. Red means it has a more bearish momentum. Green means it has a more bullish momentum. So we'll wait until either retests the 47k level or it sells off a little bit to find a support. So let's see what happens. Okay, so not only did it retest the 47k resistance, it actually broke through really hard. So you don't really check this and look at the screen a bunch. You just set notifications to see whether it retests or not. And then it also retests the all-time high. So once it reaches that point, we get a notification triggered. So let's see what happens. If it breaks out and continues, we let it ride until it starts to sell off, in which we would slowly scale out our profits. However, if it rejects the 48K level and breaks down, we sell out so let's keep going okay starts to consolidate a little bit sells off a little bit tries to re-break the all-time high let's keep going let's keep going okay now it's slowly dipping below that support level so you could take one half profits if it also sells off a little bit you could have taken one third profit at the all-time high retest and it broke down so one third out one third out here now we have one third left let's see what happens if it breaks continues break down down below we exit the position but if it tries to go up again then we'll see what happens okay it tries to go up again however now this time there's a lower high so i would be careful if you want to be safe you could just exit the position right there well, we could see what happens. If you risk here, you can let it run. Keep it going. Okay, it tries to break the all-time high again. 
new all-time high that quickly rejected down. So in this case, I would fully exit the position that is fully rejected, and then if you want confirmation, breaks the 47k level, rejects again, or then you could re-enter as it never really breaks down below 46.5k, then it gets rejected again. So if we move the all-time high notification a little bit higher now, then we repeat the same thing, wait until it finds a new support. So for any movement that's in between the all-time high and the new support around 46.5k, I would probably just ignore that. So you could set notification higher at 46.5k right here, and then actually we'll keep it, and then we'll move the 47 down to 46.5. So anything that happens between, ignore it. However, once it touches this and it uptrends, you could go long again. Or if it breaks the all-time high, you could wait until it shows price weakness, then you short it, or you could scalp it for long. However, the Bitcoin trend shows that a lot of people tend to dump shortly after it breaks an all-time high. So I would be more cautious on taking a long scalp after an all-time high break. So three keys for this include being patient and letting the play run. So even if it dips down to the 47k level, there is a lot of room for it to gap down, even down to 42k level, even down to the 40k level. So be patient and wait for it to break that neckline above 45.5k and then enter that breakout. And also utilizing the higher time frames. So right now we're on a 30 minute chart. The one hour chart is also more clean. However, if you use the lower time frames, you could get very confused about what's going on. So let's look at the inverse head and shoulders right here. See how there's like a bunch of very choppy action. There's a bullish signal, some selling off, bullish, red, green, red, green, red. Say for like the 15 minute too. It's very, very choppy action. Green, red, green, red, green, red. So for a lot of these plays, especially for Bitcoin, I would recommend using higher time frames, at least the three minutes, one hour, and then you could look at a longer time frame to see the overall context of Bitcoin. So we're on the four hour chart right here. Then if you want to be more savvy, you could add in more specific trend lines. Go right here. here boom to capture most of the movements right here boom turn on the 50k level if you want to be more specific with it lastly the important last important step will be to slowly scale out at key levels so let's pull in here so for example if you, if it goes up a little bit and you just randomly sold, you could have missed all that movement to the all-time high break. Or if you just sold right away around here, as soon as that sold off like 246.5k, you could have missed the retest to 48k. That's an extra 30%, which could become 30% with leverage. So at each of these points where you're uncertain or it validates your exit, then you slowly scale out. So take your time with these and hope this helps. So talk to y'all soon.